Today I'm sharing the travel essentials in my backpack. When you travel, you are allowed a personal item bag that will fit under the airplane seat. That personal item bag holds essentials that are underneath the airplane seat right in front of you. It can be a backpack like mine that I take when I have my laptop computer. It can be a weekender type bag. It can be a large tote bag that zips or does not zip, but it at least needs to snap. Even a small duffel bag can be used as a personal item bag that fits underneath the airplane seat in front of you. I flew one time and the guy used his seat to put his personal item bag under and I had no room for my bag. If you stick around to the end, I will show you one packing method that I use for my personal item bag at the end of the video. Remember to click the bell and subscribe if you like this video and say hello if you haven't introduced yourself yet. Now, all of you pack vitamins or medicines when you travel. I like to pack my vitamins um, and maybe some Advil or Tylenol in a plastic baggie. You can use a pill organizer. You can use a pill box. Those medicines are a necessity to your life throughout your vacation. So those must stay in your personal item bag. Especially if you're traveling with liquid medicines, those have special TSA rules for going through x-ray screening. So those are already in your personal bag in a clear bag. I do have a video about taking medications, but the Transportation Security Administration asks that for liquid medicines, they go in their own clear bag because most of the bottles or containers are larger than the 3.4 ounce liquid rule, and those can go in their own bag. You don't have to make all of your liquid medicines fit in that regular liquids bag. They can be in their own clear bag, but they ask that you put them in the bin along with any other bags that you may have. Dry medicines can be put in any type of container. If you are going to another country, you may want to Google your airline and bringing medicines and see if they need to stay in their original container. I have never traveled with them in my original container. You may want to take your doctor's prescription or take a picture of that prescription for that pill. Those are just some ideas. And as planes start to fill up again, the overhead space starts to fill up. So if you have packed your essential medicines in your suitcase, that could get checked to the belly of the plane last minute if they're out of space and it could get lost. So you want to have all that medicine in your personal item bag. Hey, Ollie. Oh yes. Oh yes, that is so handsome. Another essential in that bag is my electronic cord organizer. I used to travel with my power bank in its own pouch, but I just found that having them all together with my headphones cord, my laptop cord, it's just easier having them in one place. However, I wish the cords were a different color because I get out my power bank and then I have to find my power bank cord. Well, I have it in the same pouch as my headphone cord, so it just gets tricky. This cord organizer is by Travelon and you can roll it up technically and then the strap will keep it bunched up. I took my laptop charger and cord and I really don't need that in the airplane. So I could have just kept that in the mesh outside pocket of my suitcase and that would have just saved more room in my personal item bag. I do not own a one-time power bank anymore. This will charge your phone twice and I learned that the hard way because I charged my phone halfway through my long flight and then when I got to my destination, I needed the GPS in my phone to get me to my vacation spot and my phone died. So I only had enough juice in my charger to recharge my phone once. So now I only travel with a double one and I will link that for you. I also packed my sunglasses in a real case. And if you watch my Instagram stories, you'll notice that because I was wearing a mask, my earrings got all tangled up in my mask. So a travel hack is to store your earrings or jewelry in that sunglasses case with your sunglasses because you won't need those on the airplane. It's just another way you can pack them. I freeze on most airplanes, especially in the summer. So I always have a rolled up sweatshirt or hoodie or a cardigan. I packed a sweatshirt this time because I knew we were going to the Grand Canyon and Flagstaff and it was going to be 31 degrees at night. I like traveling with a real book instead of the electronic ones that you can get now. And I also traveled with these, hence I needed the headphone cord. I also have a pair of noise canceling headphones that I travel with sometimes and they have their own case. And I would just keep my headphone cord in that case when I'm traveling with those. 
I need to invest in AirPods. I've used them a couple of times. My husband has some, and of course my teenager has some. Let me know if you have AirPods and if you like them. A packing tip is to pack that sweatshirt or the hoodie in the very bottom of your, of your personal item bag, because when you do, it kind of makes it stand up as a rectangle cube. You can pack things in stacks inside that personal item bag. That's not the packing method that I was gonna share with you at the end. I also packed my emergency kit. I have a video that has two DIY kits that you can make for little emergencies on the airplane. I traveled with loose pairs of socks because I thought my feet were gonna get so cold, but I never used them this time. I traveled with my hearing aid case and tissues and a thin wallet. It is RFID. People ask me about that a lot. I have my packet of equal. I probably should put that in my emergency DIY kit. <laughs> because I'm a sugar snob. I have these floss sticks that I got from the grocery store aisle a few years ago. And then I always travel with a pen, but I forgot my journal. I really like May Designs journals, but I forgot it this trip. And I treated myself, I believe last winter, a year ago, to a fingernail file carrier. I have one in my travel bag that I never take out, and then I have one in my purse. So that might be a treat for you. A travel hack is to use an old school toothbrush container for your fingernail file or makeup brushes. You may notice that I have tissues in the bottom of my water bottle, little mesh pocket that is breaking. I think it's about time to buy a new backpack. The travel hack for putting tissues in the bottom of that water bottle pocket is because when you buy a freezing cold ice water in the airport, it makes condensation and it drips through that mesh. So the tissues help absorb it. Now I have a packing method. If you travel with a weekender type bag or a tote, the backpack is not quite wide enough for it, but you can use your small packing cube that is full of clothes and pack that inside, standing up. I packed my packing cube inside that weekender bag flat or horizontally, and it saves space if you store your packing cube vertically in a weekender type bag or a tote type bag and then you have more space in your suitcase for another packing cube. Let me know where y'all are traveling to. We are planning an RV trip somewhere around Glacier National Park, gonna see Yellowstone maybe too, if they will open up, my goodness. Anyway, thank you for visiting our Travel Tips by Laurie worldwide community here. Please introduce yourself if we have not met. And click the bell. <laughs>